going into February and it's 50 degrees outside. Which is kind of terrible because we haven't had any snow days yet, which probably is good for our seniors because they get to graduate on time. Anyways, Devil, Devil Nation, Nation News starts, starts now. start this year with a pretty snowless winter so far. But now they're up and running with a new restaurant, so if you ski or snowboard, go check it out. This year, ski areas across the country were plagued by warm weather and Powder Ridge was no exception. Powder Ridge got a late start this season, opening on January 8th. Currently, on Powder Ridge's website, they state there are 6 out of 20 trails open with an average of 18 inches of snow each. Some events that have happened include Rail Jam and the world's biggest ski lesson. Powder Ridge has also opened a new high-class restaurant called Fire the Ridge with executive chef Kevin Connell going to the staff. In the future, Powder Ridge hopes to host Connecticut's Special Olympics. Powder Ridge is a great place for the beginner and experienced skier and snowboarder alike. Art Club is a place for artistically talented students to come together and express their ideas. Boy, I wish I could draw. Maybe you should join Art Club. Maybe I will. Let's go. Art is a place where you can free your mind spiritually, homie. Art club is a place where you can do art of any kind and talk to your friends and listen to music. Art club is an opportunity for students to work independently on projects and uh, also there's opportunities to work uh, on community service projects uh, in the community. So it's a good place for um, students to come if, who can't get into an art class and have time to uh, work in art medias. department got together and performed a great show. They performed songs like Poison Ivy, Feel the Earth Move, and Prayer Meeting. Let's go see how it went. On January 14th, the Jazz Band and Show Choir performed a concert at the Kagan Chaga Auditorium. The concert featured the CRHS Jazz Band and Show Choir and included performances from the boys' a cappella group No Refunds and girls' a cappella group Nothing But Trouble, as well as the Dixieland Band. I think it went really well, like everybody knew their part, we all knew the dances, um, the acapella group sounded great, the jazz band sounded great. The show went, the show went very, very well, I'm really pleased. The concert was run by music directors Lisa Larson and Dean Kutsarias, who were both in their last year of teaching at Kagenshaw. You know, we keep working steadily all the time to like where we are right now we'll take some of those same selections and keep 
actually fine tuning them because we're going on to uh, do a competition. Both the boys and girls a cappella as well as the jazz band all featured excellent soloists in their performance. All in all, it was a night to remember. Our winter sports season is coming to a great close. Let's go take a look at some accomplishments from this past season. The girls basketball team is off to a strong start by winning seven of their last eight games. From the help of many underclassmen, seniors Amy R. Carey and Alana Beckert have been able to flourish on the court in their final year. As the Coggenshaw Co-op Gymnastics team approaches the midpoint of their season, the team remains undefeated. With big wins against teams including Mercy and Morgan, the team is able to come together. The boys and girls track team are very hopeful in winning Shoreline titles this year. Captains feel their chances are good after the girls won the Shoreline title last year and the boys came in a close second. Seniors Alec Bogan and Jess and Sam Drop are showing dominance on the track and helping the team reach their goals. The cheerleaders have improved greatly this year and are confident with the stunts they have won in preparation for their first competition of the season. This upcoming competition would be the first of five they are competing in this year. The Lyman Hall HK Coggenshaw hockey team is competing well with a 3-1-1 one one record. Practices are tough, but the players admit that it all pays off on the ice. With an above 500 record, the boys varsity basketball team is off to a good start led by Cam Powers and Walter Wiskell. Here is Griffin Murphy on the team season. How do you feel about this season? The season's going great. We're three and two right now, so winning record, leading the division conference. How do you feel you guys will be coming into the Shoreline and State Tournament? Uh, we're real confident going in. We're leading the uh, our division right now, so we're thinking we got a chance at States. Who are standout players that are helping your team continue to improve to reach your goals? Right now, Cam is probably one of the best players, and Walt had a 24-point game, so give him some credit. All right, thank you. Practices are very hard, but the meets are fun for the Lyman Hall Cog and Chug swim team. Many of the swimmers compete in the 50-meter butterfly or the 100-meter freestyle. Freshman Colin Kelly has claimed many wins for himself and his team. What's your New Year's resolution? For the Delmation News filming process to go as fast as possible. Because it's late already. Yeah, that'd be good. So, let's go check in with Seamus and see what Cog and Chug's New Year's resolutions are. Yeah. from Devil Nation News, and this month's question of the month is, what is your New Year's resolution? To really do well in school and, you know, maintain a pretty high GPA. Uh, lose a bunch of weight. I'm in love with the flower, flower. My New Year's resolution is to get organized. I, I think it'd probably just be to, like, graduate and stuff. My New Year's resolution, I was inspired by um, one of my cheerleaders, Allie Lexa, to do more hiking and running. So this year I'm going to make sure I hike at least two times a week if I can with the snow and everything. Um, for me, I feel like to be like happy, help my unified sports team, and I want to be most looked. Nice. I don't make New Year's resolutions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to get back my happiness. To be clean for the next week. Um, to pass my, my uh, classes and um, to help be a great friend to Peter Nofria. Oh, wow. What's your New Year's resolution? Never to speak to you ever again in my life. I want to be better than Gunther Wallach in every single way possible. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed.